Hello, good evening, class. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Carmen. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? A little bit. What? Tired and. Hello. Hello. Hi, Mario. Hello. How are you? Very good. Excellent. Ingrid, hello, Ingrid. Can you hear us? Escucha, Ingrid. Hello, teacher. Hello. Welcome. So we're about to start. Oscar, hi, Oscar. Welcome back. Ya está Oscar acá con nosotros nuevamente. What happened to hello. you, Oscar? ¿Qué le pasó ayer, Oscar? Ah, pero allí le escribí, teacher. No sé si vio el mensaje. Ya vamos a chequear, creo que no. No me recuerdo, muy bien. Okay. Y vamos a mandar ahí un recordatorio a los demás. Okay, thank you guys. So now let's start. Um, just let me share it with you. Okay, guys, so, so we're going to start today. Uh, turn on your cameras if you can, please. So we're going to start with some uh, questions. Look at this. Um, I'm going to show you some questions using simple present, and you have to try to complete the, um, the question, right? Answer. You have to answer the question. So let's see how well you do it. Okay. Let's see, we're gonna be one asking one by one. Just give me some seconds, okay? I think we're ready. Okay, let's see, we're gonna start first question. Uh, 
Okay, interesting question. Let's see, Ingrid, can you read the question, Ingrid? Okay. What do you eat or drink when it is really hot outside? Okay, so what do you eat, guys? You all, what do you eat or drink when it's really hot? Extremely hot, right? So what do you eat or drink? Let's see. Ideas, Carmen, what do you eat? Oscar? Ice cream. Ice cream, okay. Carmen, how about you? I'm frozen, nothing. Frozen, okay. Edgar, hi Edgar, okay. Fatima? What do you eat or drink? Uh -huh. Yes, Fatima, tell us. When then? Uh, eat, uh, ¿qué puede ser? eat pupusa. When it's really hot, cuando está bien caliente. Está... Ah, perdón, no escuché Ajá. eso, teacher. Te voy a okay. oh, bueno. uh, Puede ser ice cream. Ice cream, yes, right. Uh, Efraín, Kevin. Okay, Efraín, tell us, Efraín, what do you eat when it, uh, when it's really hot? Kevin, uh, guys, please activate your cameras. Vamos a que las camaritas, chicos. Uh, drink uh -huh. uh, milk. Milk, really? Okay, interesting. <laughs> okay, let's see how about uh, Oscar. Tell us, Oscar, what do you mean when it's really hot? Activate your microphone. Activate your microphone, Oscar. What do you eat or drink when it's really hot outside? Uh, ice cream, teacher. Ice cream. Okay. I'll say charamusca, right? Okay. And William, you're really happy. <laughs> okay, he's listening to some music. Okay, let's see. Next question. Even though it's raining, it's really hot. Aunque está lloviendo por acá. Let's see. So I think we need to eat some uh, some ice cream. Okay, next question, guys. Okay, who do you hang out with most? Con quien salen más seguido? Okay. So who is that special person, Calvin? <laughs> Hello, teacher. Uh huh. Who do you hang hello. out most? Hello, hello. Who do you hang out with uh, most? ¿Con quién sale más seguido, más frecuente? So who is that person that you? Uh huh. My friends. Your friends, Carmen. My boyfriend. Your boyfriend. Okay. Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Hi, my family. Your family. Let's see, Ingrid. My mom and my boyfriend. Okay, Johnny. Welcome. Um, with my wife. Your wife. Excellent. Kevin, how about you, Kevin? Um, with my brothers. Your brothers. Okay. Oscar. With my cousin. Your cousins. Okay, interesting. So I think that you will uh, spend a little time with your friends and relatives. Okay, next question. Let's see. It's a little bit slow. Let's see if we can modify that. No. Okay, so let me modify that. That was really... Okay, this one. I don't know what, but that was really slow. Estaba bastante lento. Let's see, let's continue. And we're going to select another card. So what do you usually do at the weekend? So what do you do, guys? Tell me, give me some ideas. What do you do? Activate your microphones. Yes, Daniel? I go to market. 
You go to the market. Calvin, how about you? Calvin, what do you usually do at the weekend? Uh, I go... Uh, the park. Okay, you go to the park. Carmen, tell us a little bit about your activities at the weekend. What do you sing. do? Sing. Really? Sing do, you sing? do you sing at the weekend? Do you sing, Karen? Yes. So, so. Si cantas, Carmen, el fin de semana. Do you go to karaoke? Okay. Okay, do you sing uh, at home or you go to a different place? Or with your friends, I don't know. Carmen, ¿con quién? ¿Con sus amigos en casa? Where? Tell us. Alone. <laughs> Carmen, Carmen, ¿qué le pasó a Carmen? <laughs> Activate your eh, microphone no está apagado, Carmen. Okay, yes. Um uh, uh, family, family. Okay, with your family. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. And uh question, Johnny, tell us. So what do you usually do at the weekend? Um I go to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it, and then you rest. Um, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, Ingrid, tell us a little bit about your activities. Activate your microphone. Hi, Ingrid. Hello, hello. Activate hello, hello. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I watch TV. Ah, okay. I go to the market. You go to the market as well. Okay. Yeah, that's the only time that we have, right? In order to, uh, well, let's say, uh, do the, the things, right? What are some hobbies you have? Let's say this question is for you, Kevin. What are some hobbies you have? Do you have any hobby? Um, you know, uh, I watch uh, anime. Mm, okay, enjoy. watching anime. Okay, do you practice or any sport? Um, no. No. I don't practice sport. And okay, <laughs> okay. How about reading? Do you like reading? No? A little bit. So, so. So, so, okay, Oscar. Hi, Oscar. Tell us a little bit about your hobbies. So, what are some uh, hobbies you have? Uh, play soccer, uh, the guitar. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. I love guitars. I think that I will learn someday. Okay, the, the question is for uh, Daniel. Tell us, when do you buy a new phone? <laughs> okay, when, uh, uh, okay, Daniel. Tell us. When? <laughs> uh -huh. When? Usually I don't buy a, a new phone. <laughs> really? Okay, tell us, explain that. Okay. Why? Um, do you... I don't know. Do anyone, you know, does anyone in your family give you an, a new phone? Often, I buy a new phone uh, once a year or, or once, once a, a uh -huh. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, or when it's stolen, right, uh, on the bus. Cuando desaparece mágicamente en el Uber. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Um, next question. Next question is for. Let's see, um, Mario, Mario, hi, Mario. Mm 
Mario, Mario, tell us, Mario, when you are on holidays, do you relax or try to do many things? What happened on holidays? En las fiestas, vacaciones. So do you relax or try to do many things? Eh, teacher, me está fallando el inter. Ok. Bueno, bueno, vamos a seguir viendo ahí tal vez. Ahora vamos a ubicarlo ahí en las siguientes actividades. Ok, Mario. Carmen, chalas, Carmen. Uh, or try to the money thing. Mm, ok, yeah, right. Uh, wash the clothes, iron the clothes, uh, clean the house, for example, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So we take advantage, right? And we try to do uh, the housework. Okay, who do you talk to when you have problems? Johnny? Um, who do you talk to? A quien? A quien? A quien so who do you talk to when uh, you... With my friends and my wife. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Edgar. Hi, Edgar. Tell us. So who do you talk when you... Uh -huh. <sighs> Difficult question. When, when uh, for problems, uh, your mother, your you... sister. Mm, uh, with my mother. With your mom. Okay. Yes. Okay. Nice. So, what do you do if you need to learn about something, guys? What do you do if you need to learn something? Kevin, what do you do? Activate your microphone. I don't know. Do you study? I don't know. Do you take uh, some lessons? Um, I don't know. No? No idea? Mm, okay, guess no. it. Si necesita aprender algo. Um, I don't know. Probably you take some classes. Uh, you, um, I buy I buy a book. You buy and a read book the, uh, in, and read a book. Uh huh. So what else can we do? What else can we do? ¿Qué más podríamos hacer? Uh, search uh, on on net. Ah oh, yes, search or watch a video, right? Say not. Uh-huh. Okay, thank you. So who do you, uh, yeah, we already have talked about that one. Ah, uh, tell me guys, um, do you like to try new things? Why or why not? Hi Marlene, welcome. Hi teacher. Hello, hello. Okay, tell me guys. Uh, Aníbal, Aníbal. Hi, Aníbal. Tell us. Do you like to try new things or uh, no? Activate your microphone. Hello, Aníbal. Okay, so leave us a message. Um, Calvin, Carmen, uh, Martin. Oh. Teacher, I'm just talking to the audience, as I'm working. Ah, okay, Aníbal. Thank you, Aníbal. Uh, how about you? Let's see, Marlene. Marlene, help us. Tell us. Um, 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 I don't know, teacher. Um, oh, the question is, like to try, uh -huh, to try. Probar nuevas cosas. Uh, I don't know, new experiences. Uh -huh. Do you mm. like or not? Es que no sé cómo decirlo. No, 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 no. Yes, no. Teacher, es que no, no, pero es que no, como acabo de entrar, no entiendo qué están haciendo. Ah, oh, no, estamos discutiendo estas preguntas. Si le gusta, si le gusta probar cosas nuevas. Ahí vamos discutiendo diferentes cosas. Ah, ah ok, es como la actividad rompehielo. Ajá. 
Ah, ok, ok. Um, I no. No. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Um, let's see who else. Uh, Jonathan, how about you? Jonathan, Jonathan Martinez. Activate your microphone. Activate the microphone. Yes or no? Tell me. Tell me, guys. Do you like to try new things? Activate your microphones. Activate your microphones. Tell me. Do you like to try new things? No. Yes or no? Carmen? Yes. The new, the new is interesting. Okay, the new? Yes, I like to try new things mm -hmm. because Probably. I like, I like okay. English example. <laughs> uh -huh, that could be an example if you like to talk a uh, language. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. So when do you usually wake up? When do you usually wake up? Uh, let's see, Calvin, when do you usually wake up? What time? Mm -hmm. What time? No termino de entender bien la pregunta. ¿A qué horas? ¿A qué horas se levanta? ¿Cuándo? Uh, I mean, uh, desp despierta. Five. ¿Qué hora despierta? Um, um, five p.m. Ajá. Five p.m. P.m. or a.m. Mm -hmm. A.m. Right? A.m. Okay. So where do you usually eat lunch, guys? Tell me, ideas. Fatima, where, where? So which is your favorite place? What? Mm -hmm. Work? Repeat, please. Ah, where do you usually eat lunch? Eat lunch um, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Uh, where? In the cafeteria? Or do you have any special place? In my home. At home, okay. At, At home. home. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, Fatima. What do you do uh, to get rid of stress? Yeah, Edgar, what do you do to get rid of stress? Para deshacerse del estrés, what do you do? Tell me. Yeah. Uh, do you listen uh, to music? Do you talk with a friend? Do you watch videos? I don't know. Do you exercise? I watch video in TikTok. Oh, on TikTok. Okay. How about you, Daniel? You have something fun. I listen to music. Uh huh. Okay. So, which is your favorite kind of music? Like I don't know, romantic, pop. Eh, variado, como se. <laughs> No, uh, no, solo género. <laughs> I love all kind of genders, could be. Mm -hmm. So I listen to different kind of genders. Okay. Uh, how about you? Let's see. Ingrid, tell us, Ingrid. What do you usually do to get rid of stress? Do you walk? I sing, teacher. You sing, yeah. You mentioned that, right? Excellent. <laughs> so that's mm -hmm. a good option. Um, next question. What do you do to help yourself fall asleep? What do you do? ¿Qué hacen para ayudarse a sí mismos a dormir? So, uh, because I know that sometimes we cannot sleep, right? So what do you do? Tell me. Activate your microphones. Um, Oscar, what do you do? Activate your microphone, Oscar. Oscar, Oscar, hello. I wonder no, where you Excuse Oscar. me, excuse me. Excuse me, repeat. Ah, yeah. What do you do to help yourself fall asleep? Uh, I need, um, teacher, er, cepillarse. In English, ¿cómo se dice? No, the question is, what do you do to help yourself fall asleep? ¿Qué hacen para eh, dormir? ¿O no puede dormir? Ajá. Uh -huh. um, 
I don't know, probably you may drink some milk, listen to music. She? Ah, listen to music, teacher. Mm -hmm. Listen to music ah. could be. Uh, Carmen, how about you, Carmen? Uh, count sheet. Count sheet. No sé. Okay. Uh, let's see, Daniel. I'm curious about you. <laughs> I watch TV or I drink uh, tea. You drink okay. tea? Yeah, I do that. Yeah. I drink tea as well. Um, how about you? Let's see, Ingrid, Johnny, what do you do, guys? Uh, Nothing. I listen uh, <laughs> to relaxing music. Okay. <laughs> nothing. Ingrid said nothing. <laughs> okay, she's uh, prepared to sleep. She's ready to sleep. Ella siempre se lista para dormir. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but, well, some of us have that problem, right? Algunos de nosotros, sí, a veces nos cuesta dormir. But, well, I drink tea sometimes. I, you know, when I drink coffee, that's really, well, I cannot sleep when I drink coffee. Marlene, tell us, what do you do to help yourself uh, fall asleep? Um, Teacher, I'm... I turn off the light and listen to music. Mm, yeah, that's good. And you know that um, when you're about to go to bed or, well, if you want to sleep, you have to turn on the, the light, turn off the lights in order to do this because, uh, well, our senses uh, and our brain creates a substance in order to sleep. So that's uh, really important. So we have to turn on the lights, right? So no cell phone, no lights, and then you will sleep like a baby, I think. <laughs> okay, what TV shows do you watch regularly? Do you watch any TV shows? Yes, do you have, a, I don't know, any favorite TV show? Tell me. Calvin? Um, no, what? Any no. TV show? No. No. Okay. No. Aníbal, do you watch any TV show? Uh, Carmen, Daniel? Acapulco, sure. Okay. Teacher, I am working. Two and a half men. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Aníbal, Aníbal, tell us, Aníbal. I'm working, teacher, I'm working. Ah, yeah, sorry, sorry, Aníbal. So let me write something. Voy a poner ahí, le voy a poner ahí en el final. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Neva. Okay, let's see. Um, anybody else? Uh, Oscar. Any TV show? Kevin? Kevin, hello, Kevin. Where are you? Where are you? Kevin. Okay. Well, I usually watch uh, Health Kitchen. I love that program. Uh, tell me, well, we already answered that question. And the last one, what do you do if you're bored? Tell me. Watch TikTok. Bitch. <laughs> no, tell me. Be serious. <laughs> That's it. Um, Calvi, what do you do if you're bored? Stan aburridos. What do you do? Activate your microphone. Calvin, Carmen, Daniel, Edgar, 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 tell me. Vamos activando las camaritas, chicos. Vamos a ver, no lo veo. Ahora sí, ya, ya lo van encendiendo. Bien. So tell me, Edgar, what do you do if you're bored? Activate your microphone. It's off. I I go to work. Really? Um, Está aburrido. What do you do? Um, I go. I don't know. I watch the movie and Netflix. Mm, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, that could be a good option. Daniel? I walk to park. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ingrid, what do you do? I watch videos in TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> on TikTok, okay. Yeah. Uh, Johnny, tell me, what do you do if you're bored? Um, I go to the gym. You go to? The gym. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's a good option. Marlene? Back to your mind. Um, when I'm bored, I go for a walk in the park. Okay. Just like tea movies. Okay, <laughs> repito. When I'm bored, I go for a walk in the park or... I watch TV in, I watch videos in TikTok. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Marlene. So now we'll continue, guys. Um, in today's class, we will uh, learn a little bit about some new words related to the simple present, right? And um, we will continue with this. This is our session number nine, right? Estamos a punto de culminar la primera, la, bueno, la segunda semana. Y el día de mañana va a estar ubicado ahí. De hecho, ya está ubicado un examen. Ese es el examen medio. Nada más le, le recuerdo, y aprovechando que aquí están la mayoría, para que el día de mañana ya puedan ingresar y hacer el examen. Pues si alguien lo quiere hacer hoy, pues está bien. Pero eh, también la recomendación es, es pues, hacerlo el día de mañana para que ustedes ya puedan tener ahí su nota de examen medio. Ese es el examen medio del que estuvimos hablando al inicio del módulo. Ok, ya será el anuncio por el momento. So, just give me a second. I'm going to show you some verbs that we're going to study right now. Ok, nice and easy. Ya se logra visualizar. Full screen. Yes. Okay, so I need you to read and repeat this with me. We're going to practice with these uh, verbs. Probably you know some of them and uh, probably you don't know all of them. Okay, the first one is advice. 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 Estimate. Estimate. Advertise. Advertise. Of the verb advertise. Turn on, turn on. So this is turn on, turn on, turn on. Turn off, support, support, connect, coordinate, coordinate. Control, assemble, assemble. Yeah, if you were with, uh, I don't know, airplanes, or any other stuff that needs to be assembled, you assemble, right? Disassemble, disassemble, call, call, ask, ask. So when you use this word, you can uh, refer to either this or this, preguntar o pedir, right? A request, request, that means solicitar, offer, offer, and verify. Uh, probably you need to verify some prices or you need to verify some emails or you need to verify the cost of, uh, let's say, the company or the products that you're in. Okay. That you're selling, right? Earn, earn. The next one is fine, fine, borrow. Spin, waste, waste, invest, invest, direct or direct. So all of both of them are possible. Um, direct, as direct, uh, you know the rest, right? Or direct, direct, discuss, discuss, 
evaluate, 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 integrate, design, design, plan, plan, cooperate, meet, achieve, achieve. Okay, so and here we have the meanings. Again, once more, advise, estimate, advertise, turn on, turn off, support, connect, coordinate, control, assemble, disassemble, call, ask, request, offer, verify, earn, find, borrow, spend, waste, invest, direct, discuss, evaluate, integrate, design, plan, cooperate, meet, and achieve. Okay, let's see, one by one. I'm gonna ask some of you, um, help me reading the first column, Carmen, okay? The first column, this one. Read it, read them please in English. Activate your microphone. Carmen, Carmen, help us. Number one is advice. 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 Estimate. 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 Advertise. Estimate. Advertise. Turn on. Okay. Turn off. Support. Connect. Coordinate, control, assembly, disassembly. Okay, assemble, 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 assemble disassemble, disassemble. Call, ask. Eh, no sé cómo se pronuncia ese teacher. Re request, 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 request. Offer. Offer. Verify. Verify. Uh -huh. So please verify the prices. Okay. A request. I request uh, for you to, let's say, to connect on time, for example. <laughs> so that's a request. Okay. Um, let's see. Continue with the second side. Daniel, please. Second uh, side. Air. Fine. Borrow, spend, uh, waste, invest, direct, discuss, or como era, <laughs> evaluate, integrate, design, plan, cooperate, meet, ach uh, se me olvidó como se pronuncia yeah, a veces. achieve. Okay, this one is discuss, discuss. 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 So let's discuss on, uh, let's say, let's discuss on the weather, for example. Let's discuss on COVID-19. Okay, so this is what I have for you related to the verbs. So right now we'll continue with some more things, okay? So our class specific objective is the following. So we'll be talk, participants will be able to talk about their and others' daily routine and the class objective. At the end of the class, participants will be able to express ideas using daily routine. So we, we're basically talking about our routines, right? So in order to do this, ah, okay. We're gonna be checking the following vocabulary. As you remember, yesterday we talked about it, right? So let's see what do you remember about the vocabulary practice. Bookkeeper, which is the um, definition. So I'm going to give you some time. So for you to talk with a classmate and try to figure out which is the correct definition for each of the following occupations or job positions. Okay, vamos a crear las salas y... Vamos a tratar de identificar ahí cuál es la ocupación o la posición, la job position para cada una de esas 
um, la definición más bien, la definición de cada una de esas job positions. Okay, so I'm gonna create the breakup rooms and you start working. So you can probably can take some notes based on um, the previous class. Okay, ya de ayer discutíamos algunas definiciones de o ideas relacionadas a esas job positions. So I think you're gonna do it perfectly. Eso está lo van a hacer super bien. Okay, so join the breakout rooms. Vámonos ahí a las salas. I'm gonna send you the, script, the screenshot in a moment. Ahorita les envío la captura para que ustedes la puedan empezar a trabajar. Me avisan quién, a quién no le ha aparecido la invitación. Eh, vamos a ver, Fátima, Jonathan y Kevin. Hola Jonathan, ¿me escucha? Fátima, Jonathan, y vamos que más Kevin Alonso. Chicos, ¿me escuchan? Si me escuchan, por favor, déjenme un mensaje. Ahorita como va y vemos y con la otra no. Okay. En la segunda dice ayuda a las personas y a las empresas uh -huh. a administrar su finanzas. Bueno, contable le ponemos. Ese le ponemos contable. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay, Igual, pongámosla ahorita como nueve. Ahora la tres. En la tres tiene que ser recursos humanos. Sí. Especialista en recursos humanos. Sí, vale. uh -huh. La cuatro. que esta sería el, 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 la de Ever. Sería la cuatro, ¿verdad? Mm. Ajá. Eh, dice especial marketing digital, la de, digo yo. Ajá, la de. Cinco, dice, ayuda a la gente, compañera. Mm. Hay las que están bien parecidas. Mm -hmm.
en teoría solo nos queda la software infinita. Las, vamos por la cual la cinco va. La gente de seguro, no sé. En la, la cinco digo yo que tal vez podría ser la E. Ajá, ponga, porque la seis, y estoy seguro que sería la F. Uh -huh. Ahora pongámosle la a la 5, que es la, la E. La 5, la E. Y a la 6, la F. La también para ver. Uh -huh. las cuentas de la compañía y que queda la vega uh -huh. vaya esta la 1 es la B la 2 es la A la 3 es la C la 4 es la D la 5 es la E y la 6 es la F uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. pero a ver cómo sale. Ahora lo único que quiero escuchar es cómo se pronuncia. Sí, en la la palabra. Ajá. Ya voy a ponerlo. A ver cómo se pronuncia. Esta palabra. Hola, guys. Did you finish? ¿Terminaron, chicos? Yes. Ok, excelente. Yes. Okay, just give me one minute, ok? Specialist. Yes. Letter, letter C. Yes. Yes. Okay. Help people and companies gain financial loss and manage risk. Not Maria. Letter E. Letter E. Insurance again. Letter E. Okay. Definition number one. Letter a, letter A, definition number two, letter B, D. definition number three, letter C, definition number D, number four, letter D, definition five, E, E, and definition F. six, F. Yes. The cell. Helpful. Teacher, hello. Hello, did you finish? Yes. Yes. Um, yes, no. teacher. <laughs> yes or no. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, okay, we're going to go back in a minute. Okay. Okay. Hello, hello guys, welcome back. 
Okay, so let's see what do you have in uh, we're going to do the following. Uh, we're going to try to fill in with this, uh, with the correct letter, right? Number one, which is the correct answer for a uh, number one, which is the correct job position. Tell me. B. C. A. 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 Okay. Number two. B. Uh-huh. Help people and business, businesses B. manage their finances. B. 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 Financial analyst. Okay. Financial analyst. Number three. What do you think? Number three? C. 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 Uh -huh. Human resources specialist. C. Uh -huh. Okay. Perfect. Letter C. Number four. D. 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 Okay. A uh, digital marketing manager. Okay. Number five. Help people and companies against financial loss. E. 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 Okay. And six. F. Software engineer. <laughs> so if you notice, <laughs> it was in the right order. Okay, A, B, C, D, E, F. Was it difficult? <laughs> A little bit. Okay. So now let's see how well you do it, right? I'm going to send you the link. So so try to do it. Let's see how well you do it in this uh, game. Okay, so open the meeting chat and uh, practice with the uh, job positions, okay? So open the link, open the link. So I have sent it to you to the meeting chat. Ya les envié el enlace al meeting chat. So try to do it on your own and then send me in the screenshot, okay? So let's see if that's true. Okay, me envían la captura de pantalla de cómo les queda el ejercicio. So send it to the group, envíenla ahí al grupo. ¿Ya todos tienen el enlace? Yes. Okay, so open it. Open it, open it. ¿Ya todos tienen el enlace? ¿Alguien que no lo tenga todavía? So let's see how I do it. I'm going to be checking the meeting group, the meeting chat. The, I mean the WhatsApp. Okay, so did you finish? Okay, let's see the first one. Uh, what is your score? Aquí no hago la score todavía. Vamos a ver. Number one, number one. Now the policies and regulations involving the management of employees. 
So what's the uh, right job position? Human resources specialist. Okay, human resources specialist. So let's let's check it. Uh, okay, so Human resource specialist. What you have to do is to draw this, right? Solamente de arrastrar ahí. Okay. How about uh, number two? Keep track of the financial accounts of companies. Bookkeeper. 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 Okay. Bookkeeper. Uh, number three. Daniel, can you read that one? Create. Create and advertise the company over the social media, the software engineer. Software engineer. Engineer. Mm, are you sure? El digital no, marketing. Digital marketing. Marketing. Marketing, yes, marketing yes. digital. <laughs> <laughs> ya le van a pegar. <laughs> a ver, just kidding. Okay. Uh, help businesses manage their finances. Johnny, help, help us. And um, el financial analyst. Financial. financial analyst. Okay. The next one, design and develop different softwares. Magleni, Garmin, uh, Dora. What is Dora? Yes. Listen to the pro. Stop me. Software engineer. Software engineer. Okay, and the last one. Insurance agent. Help people in companies against financial loss. Okay, let's listen to the pronunciation. Human resource specialist. Bookkeeper. Digital marketing manager. Digital marketing manager. Financial analyst. Financial analyst. Software engineer. Insurance agent. <laughs> Insurance. insurance agent insurance agent 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 okay so now let's see okay well done <laughs> so you got <laughs> Okay, well, let's uh, be serious. <laughs> let's continue with the next uh, thing that we have to check. <laughs> we're going to be observing the following. Uh, we're going to um, work on this activity. So we're going to practice with the listening part. Okay, listen to five different people talk about their occupations and complete the exercise. So I'm going to need your help in order to uh, focus and concentrate on what you will listen, okay? But uh, before doing so, uh, let me see if I have the attendance list. Okay, mientras cargamos ahí la lista de asistencia, vamos a ir ahí con el listening. Yeah, okay, so just let me share, give me one second. Okay. So look at this. Um, Johnny, can you read the instruction, please? Um, listen to five different people talking about their jobs and do the exercise to practice and improve your listening skills. Okay. Continue, please. Johnny? Uh, do the preparation, preparation exercise before you listen. Then to the offer other exercise to check your understanding. Okay, perfect. So now let's start with the preparation task. Okay, so we have to match the occupations. I don't know if I have shown you this before. Okay. Okay, so which is the occupation for this picture? First picture is a dentist. A dentist, okay. Dentist, okay, you mark it and then you place that uh, over there. 
I'm going to send you the link so you can uh, work on that as well. Let's send you the link so you can work on that Okay, uh, picture number two. Picture number two. Teacher. A teacher. Okay, a teacher. Perfect. Picture number three. Doctor. 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 Okay, perfect. Picture four. Shop assistant. Mm -hmm. Shop assistant. Okay. Assistant. Uh, the Pilot. next pilot, right? Pilot. 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 Okay, we have a pilot. Let's see. What about we got? Oh, I cannot find that. <laughs> Okay, it's there. Okay, pilot, and the next one? Nurse. 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 Okay. How about this one? Police. Police is police official. Police. Uh -huh, police. Police officer. Official. Okay, officer, police officer. And the last one? Clear. Cleaner. Cleaner. Okay. Cleaner, right? Okay, so let's check it. Perfect. So now we continue with the listening. And I really need you to pay close attention to this, okay? So try to concentrate. You can take notes. Pueden ir tomando notas, okay? Hey, I work on Saturdays and in the school holidays. Saturdays are busy because that's when everyone goes shopping. Our shop sells clothes and accessories for men, women and children. I work in the children's department. It can be crazy sometimes, but it's fun. B. I work during my summer holidays when I'm not at university. Oxford has thousands of tourists in the summer, so it's easy to find a job as a tour guide. I take tourists to visit the university colleges, and then we go down to the river. We go along the river on a boat. The tourists love the boat trip. But last summer, one tourist fell in the river. I love meeting people from all over the world. C. I like my job, but lots of people don't like coming to see me because they hate dentists. Sometimes it's very hard work, but it's great to help people when they have a problem. It's so important to look after your teeth. D. My job is very difficult, but I like it because I love flying. I fly planes that take people to different places on holiday. Most of the time I fly in Europe to places like Spain, Greece and Italy. The most difficult thing about my job is when the weather is bad. Snow and thunderstorms are the worst. Uh, the best thing is visiting different places. E. I work in a hospital in the city centre. It's a very big hospital. I help the doctors with the patients. I give them their medicine and look after them when they feel ill. I love my job, but I don't like the uniform, and sometimes I have to work at night. This recording was brought to you by the British Council. A. Okay, so listen up. So, uh, right now, um, we're going to try to listen that again, and I'm going to show you the transcript, okay? So you can read um, while you listen, okay? I work on Saturdays and in the school holidays. Saturdays are busy because that's when everyone goes shopping. Our shop sells clothes and accessories for men, women and children. I work in the children's department. It can be crazy sometimes, but it's fun. B. I work during my summer holidays when I'm not at university. Oxford has thousands of tourists in the summer, so it's easy to find a job as a tour guide. I take tourists to visit the university colleges, and then we go down to the river. We go along the river on a boat. The tourists love the boat trip. But last summer, 
one tourist fell in the river. I love meeting people from all over the world. C. I like my job, but lots of people don't like coming to see me because they hate dentists. Sometimes it's very hard work, but it's great to help people when they have a problem. It's so important to look after your teeth. D. My job is very difficult, but I like it because I love flying. I fly planes that take people to different places on holiday. Most of the time I fly in Europe to places like Spain, Greece and Italy. The most difficult thing about my job is when the weather is bad. Snow and thunderstorms are the worst. Uh, the best thing is visiting different places. E. I work in a hospital in the city centre. It's a very big hospital. I help the doctors with the patients. I give them their medicine and look after them when they feel ill. I love my job, but I don't like the uniform and sometimes I have to work at night. This recording was brought to you by the British... Okay, so let's continue. Let's check uh, your understanding about these occupations. Speaker A works as a... Do you remember that? Speaker A? Speaker A? Shop assistant. Shop assistant, okay. Assistant. Speaker Shop B assistant. works as a... B is tour guide. Tour guide. Tour guide, okay. Speaker C? C as dentist. dentist. Okay, dentist. Speaker D? Pilot. 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 And speaker E? Nurse. 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 You sure? Okay, perfect. Okay, so now we continue with a multiple choice activity. Let's see. Uh, does speaker A enjoy his job? Yes, yeah, sometimes or no? Sometimes. Sometimes? Let's go back to speaker A. I work on Saturdays and in the school holidays. Saturdays are busy because that's when everyone goes shopping. Our shop sells clothes and accessories for men, women, and children. I work in the children's department. It can be crazy sometimes, but it's fun. Okay, it can be crazy sometimes, but it's fun. So what do you think? Uh, sometimes, yes or no? And what do you think, Daniel? <laughs> Daniel and the rest, y los demás, Johnny? Sometimes be crazy, but he enjoy. Mm, enjoy, okay. yes. So you think it's yes? Yes. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. When does speaker A work? Weekdays, weekends and holidays or summer holidays? Cuando trabaja? So just weekdays, días de la semana, fines de semana, fiestas, summer holidays, o las vacaciones? Summer holidays. Summer holidays. Okay, so let's see. Let's go back Let's look for that information. I work on Saturdays and in the school holidays. Saturdays are busy. And okay, so that's all the information that we have. So what do you think? What do you think, what do you think about it? When does speaker A work? Weekdays, weekends and holidays or summer holidays? Weekends and holidays. Weekends and holidays. Okay, let's go back. So let's read it again. Vamos a ver, leemos ahí nuevamente. Look at this. Uh -huh. Saturdays and in the school holidays. So en you fin think... de semana. Okay, so you weekends think it's... Holidays. Weekends... We, weekend and holiday. Weekends and holidays. 
Okay, how about the next one? When does speaker be work? When does speaker be work? When he's at university, weekends, or summer holidays? Speaker B, read the information. Summer holidays. Summer holidays. Okay, summer holidays. Summer holidays. What does speaker B say tourists love doing? Speaker B, speaker B. Taking a boat trip. Uh -huh. Talking about... Uh, taking a boat trip. Ah, taking, taking, taking. Taking, a, taking. <laughs> taking. Taking a boat trip. Taking a boat trip. Or swimming in the river. So what do you think? Taking a boat trip or um, swimming in the river? Let's check it. I work during my summer holidays when I'm not a university. Oxford has thousands of tourists in the summer. So it's easy to find a job as a tour guide. I take tourists to visit the university colleges and then we go down to the river. We get a lot. Go along the river on a boat. The tourists love the boat trip in the summer when the tourists fell in the river. I love meeting people from all over the world. So, what do you think? Taking a boat trip? Sure. Yes. Seguros. Yes. Um, Take, taking, taking a boat, boat trip. trip. Yes, right. Okay. Yeah. Does Speaker C like his job? Speaker C, does he like his job? Johnny, can you read the information, Speaker C? Read it. Sometimes. Um, le leer el enunciado. Uh -huh. Yes, read it, please. Uh, okay. Um, I like my job, but lots of uh, people don't like coming to see see me because they hate dentists. Sometimes it's very hard work but it's great to help people when they have a problem it's so important to look after your teeth okay so guys that speaker see like his job yes sometimes or no yes yes of course right yeah okay next question what does speaker d say is difficult about being a pilot so what does speaker D say is difficult about being a pilot? Traveling to many countries, learning many languages, or flying planes in a bad weather? Flying planes flying in a bad weather. In okay. bad weather. Okay, so I think you're sure. You're sure about it. Okay, what does speaker D say is the best thing about his job? Speaker D, what is the best thing about his job? Visiting different places. Visiting different places. Okay, visiting different places. What does speaker E not like about her job? The uniform. The uniform. 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 That uniform. Okay, let's see. Excellent. So you're ready to module number two. Okay. Round week two. <laughs> Okay, so now let's continue. Um, we'll continue with some more things. On, just let me open something. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to leave you the, the other a part so you can continue uh, with the rest, right? By your listening comprehension, you can work on that. Okay. Okay. 
And look at look at this. Uh, we have some exercises over here. So these are related to the affirmative and negative statements. So let's try to figure out which is the correct order for the following uh, sentences, right? Number one, number one, ideas. Unscramble sentences with the words provided using the simple present. Let's order the, um, the sentence. They keep, um, so I gave you a clue. Ya le dimos una pista. Okay. Ah, okay, no more, that's it. <laughs> they keep ideas, they keep. They keep. Track. 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 Okay, they keep track. Company. Uh -huh. Financial accounts. Financial accounts. Mm -hmm. of, of companies. Companies, right? So I already have the answer over there. Number two. What do you think about number two? Any idea? Done on internet. We don't. Okay, we don't. Don't ad advertise. Okay, we don't advertise. What? We don't advertise. On internet, the company. Okay. We don't advertise the company on internet. The, the opposite. On internet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, number three. I every day notes in the meeting take. Edgar, what do you think, guys? I every day notes in the morning, in the meetings, take. I take. I take. I take. Notes. Mm -hmm. Notes. In the meeting every day. Okay, so you were close. I take notes in the meetings every day. And number four. At the reception, Carlos and Mauricio phone answer. Answer phone at the reception. Who? Carlos, Carlos and Mauricio. Carlos and Mauricio. Okay, so Carlos and Mauricio, what? Answer. Uh huh. Answer, answer phone. At the reception. Okay. Pretty easy, right? Pretty easy. So we're you talking about uh, this yesterday. So can you tell me, we're gonna uh, practice in a moment with these activities I do. And tell me, what are some activities that you do? For example, activities that you do? I. I work, right? I work, let's say. Run. So what? Um, let's talk about the time that you work. I work from uh, or the length. Hablemos ahí del tiempo. Uh, I work from what time? Eight a.m. Yes, is it possible? Eight a.m. Eight a.m. to five p.m. Okay. Uh huh. Two five p.m. Okay. What else? Any other activity that you do at work? Can you mention any or any other activity, activities that you do? I, I answer uh, the many emails. Oh, okay. I answer. Yeah, you answer the phone. Uh, you reply. Okay, you reply. Customers, emails, okay, responded, okay, we replied. Um, how about number three? Number three, any other activity? 
Do you um do you sell something? I don't know. Do you sell, are you in charge of selling anything? I sell. Can you mention some activities? Uh, what do you uh, what do you sell? Any particular uh, product? Clothes, uh, machines, cell phones. I don't know. Okay, if um there will be a product, which product will you sell? Okay, so we had algún producto um cual venderían. So let's imagine that. Okay, <laughs> I sell cell phone. Uh huh. Cell phones, uh, smartphones. For this, okay, so smartphones. Um, four. Can you mention any other activity? Activities at I, work. Uh huh. I put yeah. it. I? I process purchase order. Ah, okay. Process purchase. Okay, purchase orders. Excellent. So, which could be any other activity? Mm, could be I check um the inventory. I don't know. Inventory. I answer phone. Ask in the example. Uh, I don't know. I play in the office. The offices, for example. What else can we do in um, in a company? I check the quality of the products for it. Okay. The quality department. Let's say. Okay, so uh, right now you're gonna talk about the activities that you do, but we're going to di divide that in uh, three activities. Okay, so just give me a second. I'm gonna show you in what uh, questions you are going to use. And uh, you're going to ask and answer these questions. What do you do in the morning? So think about some activities that you do. Uh, it, for example, you can mention one or two activities or, or as many as you can, okay? Uh, what do you do in the evening? Or what do you do in the afternoon? So in the morning, what do you do? In the morning, I go to work. I Let's say I eat uh, breakfast with my co-workers, let's say. Um, I answer phone and you can mention as many activities as possible. In the afternoon, what do you do in the afternoon? I check my emails. I, let's say, visit different branches for in the company. So talk about the activities that you do at work. Tratamos de aquí hablar de las actividades que hacemos en el trabajo. Okay, but if, what about the evening? So that's free, okay? That's free. So you, you decide. It's up to you. Entonces, en la noche, ya hay ustedes, probably you may talk about the English class, right? Um, in the evening, I study and I do my homework. Mm -hmm. Estuve checando la plataforma ayer. Ya les voy a decir quiénes hacen falta ahí. Ya saben quiénes son. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ok, vamos bien, vamos bien, pero necesitamos ahí avanzar un poco más con la semana 2. Okay, so now I'm gonna uh, open the breakout rooms, but um, I think I'm ready with the attendance list. Solamente vamos a pasar la asistencia. Okay, and then you're gonna work in the breakout rooms. Let's see, um, Mario Cristobal Quintanilla. Hello, hello. Oh, okay. He was at the beginning. Estaba al principio, ¿verdad? Mario. Es que tenía problemas con el internet. Okay, chicos, una observación. Estoy viendo aquí unos eh, cuadritos rojos que están apareciendo en algunas asistencias. Uh, te da cuidado ahí con ello porque eh, le va a reducir bastante el porcentaje de minutos. Y a la larga, si se necesita... Eh, las dos partes, la asistencia y, y, y que tengan completa la plataforma. Ok. Edgar Edenilson Reyes Portillo. 
Present teacher. Okay, Eduardo Romero Reyes. Jose Efraín Ramírez. Presente William... teacher, solamente estoy de, de oyente ahorita porque estoy ocupado. De acuerdo, Efraín, muchas gracias. William Vladimir Hernández Zapata. Presente. Thank you, William. Fernando Ramírez Monge. Johnny Antonio Silva Cepeda. Present. Thank you, Johnny. Jose Carlos López Alas. Kevin Alonso Lobato Ibarra. Present. Thank you, Kevin. Jonathan David Martínez. Carmen Amada López Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you, Carmen. Daniel Enrique Cifontes Perdomo. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Ingrid Vanessa Blanco. Present teacher. Thank you, Ingrid. Gloria Evelyn Menjibar de Castellón. Teacher, Gloria me avisó que no tiene luz. Uh -huh. Sí, eso está. Por eso no se Ajá. Sí, es que estaba checando eso de, 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 de la asistencia del día de ayer. Ok, de acuerdo. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Ahorita lo agregamos ahí al reporte. Ok, um, Jocelyn Marlene Mejiva Álvarez. Present teacher. Thank you, Marlene. Cristian Vladimir Corbera Barahona. Cristian. Noé Aníbal González López. Sí. Fátima Alexandra Martínez Pineda. Juan Francisco Montoya Ruiz. Dora Trinidad Cornejo Cepeda. Calvin Alexander Hernández Ramírez. Correcto, Ok, thank you. And Oscar Antonio Guevara Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. No mencioné alguno de ustedes. Ok, perfecto, chicos. Bien, entonces continuamos. Ah, Jonathan. Jonathan, sí, me parece que ya lo había mencionado. Vamos a ver. Jonathan. Pero aquí verificamos nuevamente, Jonathan. Ok, Jonathan, ahí nada más verifiquemos la plataforma. No sé si ya tiene acceso y usuario y contraseña. Si no, se queda al final de la clase para que le apoyemos con eso. Ok. Listo, Jonathan, ya está ahí marcado. Vamos a ver, aprovechando eso, le voy a indicar ahí más o menos con quiénes me gustaría que revisáramos este día en la plataforma. Vaya, eh, Mario, semana 2, veamos ahí quién más. José Carlos está por ahí. Ok. Bien, eh, nada más, pónganse al día, chicos. Ahorita tenemos actualizadas hasta el día de ayer, pero eh, llevamos ahí una gran desventaja en cuanto a las actividades de la semana 2. Tenemos varios que ya llevan el 100% y el 80%. Entonces, ahí quienes no hacen falta, pónganse al día, porque ya prácticamente mañana terminamos y vienen las actividades de la semana 3. Cosa para que no se, no se les acumulen todas, ¿ok? Ok, y, okay Fátima. Fátima se está por acá. Después uh, hablamos un ratito. ¿Qué más? Ok. 
Eso sería. Eh, Aníbal también, Aníbal, si se, se está por acá. Aníbal, Eduardo, José, Efraín, si está por acá. Al final, chicos, hablamos un ratito respecto a la plataforma. Ok, bien, continuamos. So I'm going to create the breakout rooms and you're going to discuss the, these questions, right? So try to give as many um, ideas as possible. Relay this to your daily activities or um, your daily uh, activities at work. So you can combine that two aspects. Vamos a combinar los dos aspectos. Aspecto rutinario, let's say uh, you take a shower, you wash your hands, but talk about your activities at work, right? So... So what you do, right? You do at work. Okay. Let's see. So please uh, join the breakout rooms and I'm gonna be checking these groups in a moment. Do you have the screenshot? Ya tiene la captura? If not, I'm gonna send it to you to the WhatsApp. Bien, vamos. A quienes no le aparecen ahí, la, la, no le apareció la invitación todavía para eh, enviárselas nuevamente, chicos, de los ocho que estamos acá todavía. Alvin, le enviamos nuevamente la invitación. Jonathan también, ¿ok? Alvin y Jonathan. Y ahorita le vio nuevamente, Calvin. Tiene ya algunas. Sí, Uy, ya, ya tengo. Ah. Ya, ya tengo un par. Así que empiezo yo y le pregunto. Okay. <ríe> What do you do in the morning, Johnny? I take a shower. What do you do in the afternoon? Um, I check emails. What do you do in the evening? I study English. Okay. 
Bueno, ahora yo pregunto. Uh, what do you do in the morning? I get up at 5 a.m. and I take a shower and shave. What do you do in the afternoon? Uh, I take a lunch in my office and I process. I work. What do you do in the evening? In the evening. I go to home and I take a dinner. Okay. Okay, it will be I have dinner. I have dinner. Ah. Uh -huh. Or eat. Have or eat. I have a dinner or I eat dinner. Mm -hmm. So the same with the breakfast. With breakfast meal. So continue and try to talk about some more ideas related to your job. Mm, so just try to give some, uh, let's say, uh, activities or provide examples related to your field or area. For example, I like check the the payment or the payroll, the payments or the payroll. Mm -hmm. So think about some activities that you do. What are your occupations? What is your occupation? I accounting. An accountant. accountant. Oh, okay. You're an accountant. So you have accountant. a lot of things to talk about. You know, some to have to be uh, yeah. <laughs> I know. Johnny, how about you, Johnny? Um. I am webmaster. Oh yeah, as well. You have the, the big field. And I am Campo Santa Amplio. So probably think about that activities, okay? And just speak, okay? Okay, so I'll be back in some minutes. Continue, guys. Okay. So try to find out what are these activities. Hola chicos, ¿qué les pasó? O sea, Ingrid, Oscar, Carmen. Hola, hola chicos. Aquí está ya, creo que había problemas, problemas de conexión. Sí, ya, sí, eso está pasando porque a veces los... No los escucho, o sea, ahí para el micrófono. Dígame. A veces se escucha y a veces no... Y ya me salí una vez del... Ah, oh, aquí tienen problemas en la sala. Ok, sí. Sí, teacher, no logramos, eh, no logramos comunicarnos. No sé qué pasó. Ok, vamos, intentemos ahora. Quizás será el, el cambio del clima. ¿Qué está lloviendo? Aquí no está lloviendo. Aquí, aquí sí, pero no, no sé si será eso. Bien, ahorita, eh, ah, Oscar sí me dice que él tiene problemas. Vamos a ver. Está lloviendo, dice Oscar. Sí, vaya, me confirman ustedes si se escucha cortado o si se ha pausado en algún momento. Vamos a seguir hablando, no sé de qué. Yo la escucho bien, teacher, no se sé si escucha bien. Escucha bien. Ajá. Hola Carmen, ¿nos escucha bien o se escucha interferencia cuando hablamos? Sí, Carmen no, no responde. Ajá. Tiene problemas, sí, tiene problemas. Ok, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Este, ya vamos a regresar, eh, le voy a cambiar a la sala principal. Y Oscar, Oscar, ¿también tiene problemas usted? Sí, ahora la lluvia. 
no sé, ¿cómo es que? Sí. Mm, sí, sí, vale. Vamos a hacer algo, lo voy a poner ahí con eh, Daniel, Ingrid, la voy a ubicar ahí con Daniel y a Oscar también ahí de, de oyente. Ok. Exercise. We go. Mm. Exercise. Hey. All the Teacher. Hello, tell me. How are you doing? How are you doing? In the afternoon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, in the afternoon, I sometimes attend meetings. And besides that, I'm well, I plan my my classes. Uh, in addition, okay. uh, let's say what else do I do? Um, well, I visit some places um, in order to offer some uh, programs. Well, this program, I, I visit different places, different city halls. Well, that's what I have been doing recently. City, uh -huh, city halls, I visit city halls. Alcaldía? Uh-huh. I do that. And let's see what else do I do. Uh, I sometimes uh, have some classes. I sometimes have classes. I'm going to start working, let's say, in, in a week. Um, so I'm going to be really busy. I también he hablado de lo que voy a hacer. Ah, uh, it's a teacher stuff. Sí, prácticamente, pues, uh, actividades. De, well, I teach. Basically, I teach. That's what I do. I'm going to cry. revisamos la plataforma. Ah, we check or verify the platform. What? I check or verify. O oh, puede ser verificar, bueno, well, verificar sería en el sentido de, digamos, de revisar si está trabajando bien, ¿verdad? Funcionando. Uh, entonces sería check. Mm -hmm. check. Check. I check. La plataforma. I do my homework. I listen to music. Well, I don't listen to music. <laughs> But if you do it, mm -hmm. you, could, you could add that. Podría agregar eso. Ah, uh, the evening, evening, evening. Evening. Uh huh. About the evening, what do you do? Uh, <laughs> uh, I attend my. I have an English class, or I attend a, a class. I, um, I don't know, I eat the inner, you mentioned, you can mention the time, I, let's say, what else do you do? I check my work, no sé si ustedes llevan trabajo a la casa, no idea, but probably, <laughs> no, that, that's too much, right? So you said, yeah, yeah, you need some time to rest. No, no. Okay, so did you finish? Come on, I, yeah, yeah, agregaron algunas ideas. Some of them. Uh, Kevin, digamos, Kevin. Kevin, yeah. Eh, eh, I don't know, eh, but no sé si esta oración tendría sentido. Eh, sería como I rest a little before. Ah. Okay, I rest for a while. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Descanso. 
Mientras tanto, rest for a while. Oh, well, it could be in the afternoon. I rest for a moment during break time. In el, in el receso, you rest, right? I rest during break time, could be. I rest for a while, I rest for a moment. Mm -hmm. Could be possible. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so now let's go back to the main session and we're gonna talk about these things, right? Okay. Cuántas tiene? Okay, welcome back, guys. So let's talk now about the activities that you have uh, written. So let's see. Um, Daniel, tell me, what do you do in the morning? Can you, could you mention some activities? In the morning? Uh -huh. and, uh, I get up at 5 a.m. and I take a shower and shave and I go to work. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Daniel. Hey, Carmen, Carmen, tell us. Oh, okay, Carmen, si tenían problemas ahí con la conexión. Let's see, let's ask somebody else. Uh, how about you, uh, Johnny? Johnny, tell me. What do you do in the afternoon? In the afternoon? Um, I am in the meeting with my team. Mm -hmm. in my you are, I job. attend meetings, assist, attend, attend. At, uh, okay with my team in the job. Mm -hmm. I attend meetings at work. I attend meetings. At work, okay. Okay, at work with, uh, for example, with uh, the recruitment team or with, um, uh, let's say you mentioned that you're a programmer or something like that, right? I attend meetings at work with the, you mentioned the team, right? With the IT, let's say, team, okay. Yes, the, the, IT, the mm. IT department. The IT department. Okay, perfect. Um, How about you, Edgar? What do you do in the evening? Tell me. Okay. I have dinner. Okay. Yes. I have English class. And you attend. Okay, you have an English class. Perfect. Kevin? And, I recognize. and you? What else? Repeat the last one. Uh, repeat the last one, Edgar. Repeat the last one. La última. ¿Cuál fue la última? ¿Ya no alcanza a escuchar? Um, I check my Facebook. You check your Facebook. As a, let's say that's a, um, as, I don't know. I don't know how to say that. Let's say as a fan. <laughs> As a hobby, let's say. Okay. Thank you. Um, let's see. Ingrid, Ingrid. Hi, Ingrid. Activate your microphone. Hi, teacher. Tell me, Ingrid. So what are some activities that you do? Select one of them, morning, afternoon, or evening. What do you do? Morning. Mm -hmm. In my home? Uh, take a shower. Okay, you take a shower. And in my work, my first activity is check my emails. Ah, okay. That's the first mm -hmm. activity that you do in the morning. And in the evening? In, I go to the bed. <laughs> <laughs> you go to bed. Okay, after the English class. Okay, so just yes. give me a couple of seconds in. Yeah. Hola. Hello, hello. ¿Ya está por ahí? Ya me puede conectar bien. Carmen, sí, sí, yo ah, sé que hay dificultades. 
Okay, so let's continue and let me check. Where is that? Okay, just to finish, I want to share with you something. Let me see if I have it over here. So I kind of... Okay, so I'm gonna show you some important, let's say, uh, things that you may use in order to create your daily routine because you're going to be working in a paragraph uh, thing that's going to be tomorrow, right? So how to talk about this, right? How to join or express your ideas in order? So do you have problems expressing your ideas in English? So let's uh, figure out how to do this. So many things to say, but we don't know how. A veces tenemos problemas como unir ideas. So uh, let's Let's discuss a little bit about some linking words. Vamos a, ir a mostrarles algunos linking words o conectores para que ustedes puedan ir uniendo sus ideas. And uh, creo que mañana vamos a estar trabajando en ese párrafo. Okay, so, or do you get confused with before and after because after sound very similar to antes? Okay, <laughs> to before. So having a baby, look at this, before, after, right? So let's let's see how how what is it about? Okay, let's see how it works. Connectors. Um, let's see. Um, Johnny, can you help us reading the information? The connectors. Um, the connectors have a different uh, meaning, meaning, and using using then correctly will help you express your ideas ideas more clearly. Okay, so as you notice, these connectors will be useful will be useful in order to express your ideas clearly. Look at this, so here we have this. To add another idea, you use N, for example, I like pasta and pizza. Uh, to show a difference, okay, let's uh, write the example. I like, uh, Okay, pasta and pizza. So in order to add an, uh, another idea, you use N. Me gusta la pasta y la pizza, right? To show uh, a difference, you use but. I like pasta, but pizza. Okay, me gusta la pasta, pero, o oh, excepto la pizza. Or you can, or even you can say, I but I hate pizza. So that's a crime. It's a crime, but what? <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Uh, to show a time relationship in order to express sequence, uh, we use uh, the following connectors such as uh, first, then, next, after, after that, before, later, and finally. So these help us to express a sequence or an order of ideas. Okay. So let's let's see how they work. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Hey, Daniel, help us reading the first one. First and finally. We use then to establish the beginning of our, our story oh. mm -hmm. and finally to show the end after other events. Okay, so this help us in order to establish the beginning of our story and finally to show uh, the end after other events. So look at this. Uh, at the beginning, you start saying, first, I get up. Finally, I go to bed, right? So you start mentioning what you do uh, at the beginning of your, let's say, routine. And finally, you conclude saying that at the end of that uh, difficult day, you um, you go to bed, right? So you have to, uh, you can use this uh, in that way, right? Example, uh, can you read the example, please, Ingrid? For example, uh -huh. first, 
I decided to cook sometimes special. Then I looked for the recipe. Recipe? In YouTube. Recipe? In YouTube. After that, I went to the supermarket, the supermarket for the ingredients and finally I started to cook. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Ingrid. So look at this. Uh, so we're talking about, um, let's say, uh, another uh, events, right? Estamos viendo ahí un orden de eventos. Primero, ¿qué pasó? Uh, first, in the morning, I decided to cook something special on Mother's Day. Okay. Decidí cocinar algo especial. Then, coma, then, luego, then I looked for the recipe in YouTube. So he studied, right? Estudió. Uh, after that, Después de eso, after that, I went to the supermarket for the ingredients, and finally, I started to cook. So look at this. Can you identify the connectors that we have? Which are these connectors? ¿Cuáles son los conectores que están utilizando ahí? So can you identify them? First and finally. First and finally. Okay, so we're using first and finally. Do we have some more? ¿Tenemos algunos otros? Then, then I... Uh -huh. Then and after, after and yeah. after that, right? Para ir mostrando una secuencia. Okay. Primero, luego, después de eso, y finalmente. So what happened at the end, the result, right? Okay, so now let's continue. Uh, I think that we won't conclude with this, but we will continue tomorrow. So let's uh, finish with some of them. And help me with this one, please, um, Edgar. And. Okay, we use to, we use it to, okay? Put, put. Put together to um, more similar ideas or item in the, in a list, usually before the last item in the list. Okay, so look at this. We have something uh, clear here is that the, we use it to talk about uh, more similar ideas to the first one I mentioned, right? Or uh, you can talk about items in a list, usually before the last item in the list. Example, the main characters are Shrek uh, of Shrek. The movie are Shrek and, and Fiona, right? So these are yeah, similar yeah. ideas. So we're talking about the characters, okay? Ideas similares, los personajes, Shrek and Fiona. Let's look at the next example. I did, okay. I did, um, okay, so I'm gonna circle this. Uh, I did everything my mom asked me to do. So I washed uh, the dishes, set the table, and showered dog. So uh, whenever you're talking about um, a list of a list of activities or a list of uh, ingredients, so you can use a uh, in, and you have to put um, in um, bef after, let's say, uh, before the last thing that you have to mention, that you're going to mention. Entonces acá, lo que hacemos es que cuando van a mencionar hay una lista de diferentes actividades o ingredientes o lista de cualquier tipo de, de lista. ¿verdad? Lo que hacemos es ubicar el en uh, antes de la última actividad que hizo. Ok, primero. Lave los platos, puse la mesa y finalmente shower the dog, right? And, and shower the dog. And you have to place a comma, right? También necesitamos ubicar una coma. Dependiendo, aquí podrían ser más actividades, entonces tendríamos que ir poniendo una coma. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, and I think it's almost, it's time, right? So I'm going to stop over here and I hope that you can, um, well, try to uh, write some examples on it and uh, we will continue with the rest tomorrow. Okay. Entonces les dejo estos dos ejemplos ahí. No sé si los tomaron captura para que ustedes ya los vayan bien. Y continuamos el día de mañana con, con el resto. Tenemos algunos otros que mencionamos al principio. Okay, so I'm gonna pass the attendance list. Uh, let me see, where is it?
Okay, Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Edgar Edenilson Reyes Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Edgar. Eduardo Romero Reyes. José Efraín Ramírez. William Vladimir Hernández Zapata. Presente. Presente, Efraín Ramírez. Thank you, Efraín. Fernando Ramírez Monge. Johnny Antonio Silva. Present. José Carlos López Alas. Kevin Alonso Lobato Ibarra. Present. Thank you. Jonathan David Martínez Escobar. Jonathan y Carmen Amada López. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present, teacher. Ok. Ingrid Vanessa Blanco. Present, teacher. Thank you, Ingrid. Gloria Evelyn Mengíbar de Castellón. Ok. Jocelyn Marlene Mengíbar. Present, teacher. Thank you. Cristian Vladimir Corvera Barahona. Noé Aníbal González López. Fátima Alexandra Martínez Pineda. Present teacher. Thank you, Fátima. Juan Francisco Montoya. Ah, oh, ok. Bien, Dora Trivial. Hola. Montoya está incapacitado. Ah, ok. Y... No sé si se habrá logrado conectar, pero sí estaba desde ayer, ha estado enfermo. Ajá, sí, lleva tres días acá de... Sí, acá sí, eso tenemos entendido. No sé okay. si... Uh -huh. Bueno, sí, si puede comunicarse con él, dile que nos escriba. Okay, para saber cómo está y, y también consultarle, ¿verdad? Ahí respecto a la... Vaya. Yo le digo mañana, creo que mañana ya se incorpora. Okay, Perfecto, no. muchas gracias. No sabíamos, muchas gracias. Ok, Dora Trinidad Cornejo. Sabemos que tu pasado con Dora tampoco. Ok, muy bien. Veamos. Y Calvin Alexander Hernández. Ok, en Oscar Antonio Guevara Carranza. Present teacher. Ok, so thank you a lot guys for being today. So we'll see you in our next class. Y nos quedamos nada más ahí con quienes mencionamos al principio, nada más que tenemos algunas dificultades con la plataforma. Los demás pónganse al día con las actividades de la semana 2. Ok, bueno, terminamos mañana, semana 2. Ok, so that's all for today, guys. So I'll see you uh, tomorrow. Ok, Eduardo, Eduardo está por ahí. Thanks, teacher. Good night. Bye, bye. Tengo Good una pregunta. Eduardo, Eduardo, vamos a ver, Eduardo, no se me vaya todavía. Hola, Nick. No se me vaya a ir todavía, Eduardo. <ríe> teacher, tengo una pregunta. ¿Hasta qué tarea tendríamos que tener completadas? Um, el día de mañana hasta las 10. Es decir, yeah. ahora hasta las 9. Ah, ok, ok. Gracias. Uh -huh. Perfecto, Marlene. A ver, empezamos ahí con Eduardo, y aprovechando que aquí está. Eduardo, este, tenemos ahí dificultades con el, el progreso de la plataforma. Sí, lo que sucede es que últimamente el horario me está afectando, porque como cuando estoy en la casa, ahorita estoy en el trabajo, y sí. tuve tratos fijos, lo, eventualmente porque me, me retiré a hacer unas cosas que hacemos acá uh -huh. y así me iba conectando pero no estaba como oyente nomás y, este, y en los días que he estado ausente he estado en la casa pero como nosotros tenemos un emprendimiento de vender comida y me choca uh -huh. con la, entonces a mi esposa ella es la que se dedica a despachar y yo soy el que me dedico a cobrar lo que se vende y dar los cambios para que ella no esté tocando dinero al momento. Y ahí es el problema que he tenido, y, y es lo que yo le comentaba aquí a mis superiores, pues. Sí, que, sí. Pero que iba a tratar la manera de estar activo como oyente cuando se pueda, y cuando pueda participar, voy a participar, pero como me he descontinuado bastante, voy sí. a ver de qué manera me... Ajá. 
Vaya, me pongo sí. al día. Sí, este, ¿sabe que Tratemos de avanzar porque ahorita, digamos, iniciaríamos la semana 3. Entonces, sí. aquí, este, según lo que veo yo, necesitamos trabajar en la unidad 1 y en la 2. Que son de la tarea 1 a la, prácticamente a la 10, porque mañana ya es sí. la, la clase número 10. Entonces, podemos irla trabajando, vaya, trabajándolo por bloques, eh, en, por lo menos 5 minutos. Sí. Trata de dedicar sí. por lo menos 5 minutos a revisar una tarea. Y así la va haciendo despacio, pero tratemos de avanzar por lo menos con la unidad 1, terminemos la unidad 1, o no sé qué, en alguna... Sí. O y alguna... luego de hasta la tarea se le envía a usted. No, en la plataforma. ¿Tiene la... Todavía ah, tiene la acceso a la plataforma. Ya... Sí, cómo Ajá. no. Eh, la vez pasada me mandó el enlace ahí. Ajá, porque fíjese que las actividades que están ahí... Eh, solamente son de opción múltiple y algunas son de escribir, pero eh, en realidad no son muy largas, algunas las puede hacer este, unos cinco minutos, podría ser algunas otras tal vez le tomen tiempo y las que le, se le dificulten, mándenme una captura para apoyarle pero sí. empecemos a trabajar ahí busque, trate de buscar algún espacio yo comprendo sí, que, yo no que de manera porque sí me, me está, mm, sí, me está yo haciendo sé. difícil pues Uh -huh. lamentablemente yo pienso que el horario es el que me afectó en un principio sí. no consideré eso pero sí creo que y es que pues la verdad es que no son excusas pero a veces ya uno con, con hijos pues es más difícil ¿va? porque tengo una niña pequeña que me le dejan tarea sí. y a veces por dedicarle a ella tiempo me descuido yo de lo del curso porque sí. a veces mis hijas están con sus tareas las mayores y mi esposa en el emprendimiento pero voy a tratar la manera de, de, de sí. ponerme al día. Uh -huh. Este, hagamos Mañana una cosa. Voy a, voy a envíeme, a trabajar. envíeme capturas para que yo le pueda ir apoyando. En lo que usted tenga duda, yo le voy a ir apoyando. ¿Ok? Pero, Está bien. Ajá, pero ábrala, ábrala. Unos 5 o 10 minutos, por lo menos. Sí. Cada día. Sí, no, cualquier cosa, con, también me puedo apoyar con alguno de mis compañeros, porque como... Uh -huh. De, de, de ahí este Ed, Edgar y William y Efraín somos de la misma compañía acá. Sí, y comprende. tal vez alguno de ellos este, me puede ah, orientar sí. también. Uh -huh. Perfecto, sí, ahí Edgar le puede apoyar bastante. También, sí. este, bueno, con respecto a la asistencia, sí, acá tenemos este, algunas indicaciones. Sí, no, sí, 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 ya me llamaron la atención por eso, <risa> pero yo les manifesté de que Sí. Se me estaba complicando esa situación. Sí, pero conéctese, conéctese como oyente, conéctese como oyente, que nosotros le vamos a apoyar en cuestión de, la, de las actividades, ¿ok? Te agradezco, Ale. De acuerdo, Eduardo, no hay problema. Muchas gracias. Igual, ah, feliz. Good night. Good night. Y eh, ah, Jonathan, vamos, Jonathan. Jonathan también tenía la misma pregunta para usted respecto a la plataforma, porque... Eh, me parece acá en, también igual eh, en blanco me parece Jonathan ah ok Jonathan ¿me escucha Jonathan? Ah, activé el micrófono Jonathan está desactivado La Jonathan, ¿me escucha? Ok, bien, entonces seguimos con Efraín. Efraín, hola Efraín. Hola, buenas noches, Lick. Hola Efraín, Dígame. tenía Dígame. una consulta con respecto a um, bueno, las actividades de la plataforma. Estamos sí, verificando bien. eso del, de, las, de las actividades. Este, eh, yo tengo bastante dificultad porque al principio que se inició el curso este, mis conocimientos en cuanto a inglés son bien pocos 
y veo que ese inglés está bien avanzado. Está bien avanzado. Yo lo considero que está demasiado avanzado. Entonces, eh, pienso yo de que, vaya, estoy viendo que los demás compañeros se, des, se desenvuelven bien en cuanto a, a lectura, en cuanto a los trabajos que ellos están haciendo, ¿verdad? Y a nosotros se nos dificulta, como dijo el compañero Eduardo, nosotros somos de parte de una seguridad. Y se nos dificulta a veces por el motivo del trabajo. En cuanto, uh -huh. cuando está en tiempo libre, uno su tiempo lo tiene estipulado en otra cosa. Prácticamente no consideraron quizás eso en, en el, cuando los eh, tomaron en cuenta para este, este seminario, este curso. Mm, este, yo, okay. A ustedes los inscribieron, no sé. No fue usted. A mí solo me dijeron que, que si estaba interesado, yo les dije que lo iba a pensar. Pero hasta ahí me quedé, ¿verdad? No les dije ni no ni sí. Pero después al final aparecen de que ya estaba inscrito en, en ese curso. Ajá, okay. yo, yo le dije a la muchacha que me, que me dio la instrucción, le dije, mire, yo para empezar no, no, 